Malcolm usually begins his day with some light reading, poetry, some days Shakespeare's sonnets. Then, of course, works his way into abstract mathematics, complex anatomy, or the depths of quantum physics. Beyond his mastery of Shakespeare, Malcolm is full of questions like, If science and discovery, according to the late British animal pathologist Beveridge, is still rooted in the concept of chance or the art of imaginative enterprise, shouldn't we, now more than ever, in this age of advanced science and technology, embrace poetry and the very disciplines concerning intuition and the soul? Uh, maybe you have another question for us, Malcolm? Something more up our alley? All right, then. In a world nearing overpopulation, how do you, to say it clumsily, feed the world? More precisely, how could you help the world's largest starch producers double their output while offering the lowest total ownership costs? Oh, that's a good one. Let's answer that. Divided into 76 provinces, the Kingdom of Thailand is responsible for nearly 60% of the world's tapioca starch production. Grown throughout 48 provinces, this little plant here, the cassava plant, is used to extract the starch known as tapioca, which is typically used in the food and paper industry. In this particular tapioca starch factory in Thailand, Andritz separation helped to replace 20 older manual centrifuges with these three new fully automated Andritz Krauss Maffei peeler centrifuges. So three centrifuges instead of 20. The result? Productivity increased from 400 to 1,000 tons of commercially dry starch per day, a substantially higher yield with reduced drying costs. Simply put, Andritz separation was the driving force in doubling the starch production with 85% fewer dewatering centrifuges. I think that should answer your question. It does. I'm impressed. Hm. Thanks, Malcolm. Impressing you is not an easy task. <laughs> mm.